Volkswagen Polo Super Mini model line is one of the most successful in Super Mini history. This improved version of the Mark VI design is more advanced than before and comes with a smarter, more upmarket look. Features like a digital instrument panel and a whole raft of camera-driven safety and autonomous driving kit also borrow much from the class above. Ultimately though, this Polo is still the carefully conservative choice it's always been. Low-key, but likeable. There are no mechanical changes with this updated 6th generation Polo, but Volkswagen has narrowed down the available engine range to the key units it's found that customers really want. As before, the brand claims that this 6th generation Polo will ride like a much larger car, and sure enough it does, easily shrugging off pockmarked urban surfaces. The sophistication that delivers this showing doesn't lie in intricate suspension design, but in the light, stiff MQB A0 chassis that this Mark VI model shares with other Volkswagen Group Super Minis, like Seat 5th generation Ibiza. Through the corners, this Polo isn't quite as agile as its Spanish cousin, or a rival Ford Fiesta. The rather light steering doesn't deliver a huge amount in terms of meaningful feedback, but body movements are well controlled and the wide tracks deliver plenty of front-end grip. As for engines, well, almost all buyers in our market are going to order a Polo with the 1.0-litre TSI Turbo 3-cylinder 95 PS petrol unit we're trying here, offered with either 5-speed manual or 7-speed DSG Auto transmission. Opt for the top spec trim with the DSG Auto and you'll also be offered the alternative of this same engine with an uprated 110 PS output. We'd stick with this 95 PS unit. It's very economical, 54.4 mpg on the combined cycle and 118 grams per kilometre of CO2 in manual form and pleasantly fizzy to use. A vast improvement on the base 80 PS normally aspirated 1 litre MPI petrol unit. Should you need any further incentivization to upgrade from MPI to TSI power for your Polo, then Volkswagen provides it with this facelifted model by including its latest IQ Travel Assist semi-autonomous drive tech as standard on all TSI models. This comes with the brand's adaptive cruise control and predictive ACC tech and will effectively drive the car for you at highway speeds, providing you keep your hands on the wheel. This Polo still feels a small but significant cut above nearly all its super mini sector rivals when it comes to the important showroom issue of perceived quality. But what's changed with this facelifted Mark VI model is the new digitalised interior, an update which has even extended down, at least to some extent, to this base spec life model. There's also a smarter, capacitive steering wheel bearing the brand's latest logo. And all the cabin's important controls, with the exception of the climate features, are now integrated into the dash panel's upper crossbar. We reference the extra screen tech, primarily this instrument binnacle screen, which is 8 inches with this entry-level model, but 10.25 inches further up the range. Either way, this steering wheel view button enables you to configure what it shows you. The 8-inch central infotainment monitor is much more familiar, but it too has been updated with the latest MIB3 technology and allows you access to streaming services. Plus, you can also retrospectively add extra features like navigation if you subsequently decide you want them. Aside from screens, you'll be pleased to note that this cabin remains practically and ergonomically excellent with plenty of storage space and supportive seats.